uh, hollow or white and here you with another Lego throwback Thursday review and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars review and this time we're reviewing the Flash Speeder and Slave One from 2001 or from 2000 so on the front of each booklet see a picture of the sets and the two different versions of the Star Wars logo and so for Flash Speeder which on the back see it in pieces, and the two crazy looking alternate builds, and then the last steps, along with some screen caps from the movie is on there, as you can see. Well, at this year, they did start doing it for the episode one set. And then that's Slave One, so no ultimate build for it, unfortunately. But still, some green caps as well. So, for the only one for the Blast Beater is this Blast Beater Drive or Pilot, whatever. Or Nabu Garden. And his torso print uh, done quite nicely for the time, and no back torso print since it's, an, since it's an older figure, and the face print of it, same as it is for a lot of classic figures, and the top cap, which being the usual policeman's cap in brown. And of course, uh, at least until about 2014-15 when they decided to change it up a bit in the more newer style. Like, which I have right here. Which they, of course, changed up for the more newer lines as well. And hang on. And about it. And as for the Slave One set, the only figure with that is of Boba Fett. Hang on, let me get something for you. Let me see what I got. So, this here is the old style Boba Fett. And as you can see, that is. Torso print done, kind of alright, and not an only like print since it wasn't much of a thing at the time, and if back print, nothing at all. And here does have plain black as for the home piece, which some people kind of like a bit. Like, if look at this newer Boba effect that they've been using since 2010, yeah, I think it was 2010, yes. Yeah, it was. So as the, the prints are kind of the same, but at least a lot different. But and of course, different blasters since the megaphone blaster they used a lot until 2005. And of course, the helmet pieces of which are kind of the same shape, but except it and the jetpack are all uh, together piece all together. When the newer ones is two separate pieces. And kind of the same silver strip with an antenna to it. And, but you know, it's a 10 15 year difference. Well, I did also mention this in my uh, Jenga Fat Slave 1 review that I also did on a Throwback Thursday. But at least a good thing to see as well. And also, what kind of counts as a figure is this old style uh, haunting carbonite piece. Of which is just a pillar piece it's with Han printed on, Han Solo printed on it, and on the top part of it is a little control panel piece. But also, as compared to with this later version that they've used since 2010, which as which does look three dimensional and has printed uh, control paneling on the sides and can fit a figure onto it. 
and, and also this hair piece and the hair piece of which has kind of changed a bit since like 2016 or so but even but of course but you know it's a 10 year difference which is a quick change in like of time of course and yeah and so first of all is for the original flash speeder which kind of basic for the time period and it's only this front area which although built kind of similarly to some car sets that they've had since the beginning See this big large jacket slope piece used for the front of which and then also got the one of those older windshields and a lot of good sloping and also good use of these like uh, curved slopes. Too. If look in the cockpit area, which has two seats to it, unlike with the later 2015 version, which has a lot more and does have a single lever piece and also a jagged slope with the console on it, and also a couple of those like black tiles which have some sort of print on it which are a couple of E's, or not sure what that's for, but whatever, and do have the, but also these couple engines here, which have some interesting snot techniques, as well as some like 4x4 plates to it, and from the back side of which, uh, not so much going for it, but on the bottom part, do have those like, rounded uh, hover pieces which make it float quite well over it like it usually does and for the top area it does have some of those rounded slopes and a, the rotating torrent made of older pieces and well enough space to fit your one security guard in like so and as for a little comparison, is with the only other version they did of it, which was in 2015, which see, it's like twice as much large and does have launchers in the engines, and the top part does rotate as well. But however, this version, which has only one hiding compartment area where you can sneak in uh, the viewers binocular viewer or whatever into it but this version of which has two which you can like do that so kind of a feature that they kept from it and it can open up those like so and in one review of which said that can hold about six figures into it and this one holds only two quite impressive difference and of course has the more newer uh, curved pieces rather than jagged and a lot more snot techniques going for it and also the price has changed this was about 10 and this was about to 30 which well 10 in two thousand dollars and if convert to like 2015 19 dollars would be like about 25 or so so kind of how much of change it was and that's valid if you put that flash speeder and now on to the slave one that was also quite impressive and also just like with most of the older versions of the slave one have a lot of jagged slopes but however this version does have some like uh, brown to it instead of dark red which which actually they did keep until the 2006 version and then as for this other area which you can flip open and you just like the others can fit your Han and Carbonite or no, 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 it's like that. And 
put it in like so and close down, close up. And that's for the wing area, which as you can see, has these like uh, curved plates to it, like the other versions, and they do swivel up easily. Also like other versions, but from the back bottom part of which, just simple dish pieces acting as engines but without any special techniques going around it. And the cockpit canopy area can like flip open like so, but it's in two inch pieces. To have a little simple of that. And of course, do have some inverted slope piece where you can attach Boba Fett onto, like so. And the little thing inter odd point is how there's in the cockpit area and these like little uh, holders, uh, which are blue when the rest of it is green. Uh, not sure why that is, or maybe it's some connection to Django Fett or whatever. And now on to with a little comparison is with the very recent uh, 2019 version. And of course, it is quite similar to the 2006 and 2010 versions. And of course, also the 2002 Gen Boba Django Fett Slave 1. And of course, that was a two year gap between this and that version. Since, and of course, LEGO did kind of pick up momentum at that time. And of course, this was originally $20 and this was $120. Other versions were like $90 and all. Since, of course, it's like a, there's about like a couple of times as large. And doesn't have any blasters in it, which the new version does. And one key feature that's been there with all of them is how the wings can go up with it. Well, in other versions, Boba Fett kind of tilts along with it. And of course, this has some dark red and this is brown. So it transitioned with that from the 2006 and 10 versions. So, kind of alright to the difference. So now, um, let me get some things out. And we'll look at the final verdict. Final verdict. Overall, these I think are pretty cool sets. Uh, it's pretty cool for 2000. Like, probably the first time of getting the Slave 1, of course, and first and only time of ever having Flash Speeder until 2015. And yeah. And of course, one, a good way of getting old time Boba Fett. And yeah. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and if you haven't, then, well, good luck getting these, like, eBay BrickLink, whatever. And these also do have a good amount of green pieces for your mocking, and yeah. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.